The topic of this video is show up. And this does not mean show up somebody else. This means ourselves show up. What I mean by that is this is a practical how-to video around the topic of yoga and meditation, which we talk about very frequently. In one way or another, many of our discussions revolve around how to create inner change. And meditation is one of the most available ones to us. But I'd like to talk very practically right now about how we make meditation work in our lives. And it begins with showing up. If we don't show up, it doesn't happen. And I'd like to show you something and I'm going to ask the camera to zoom in closely and tightly on this. And hopefully I'm in the right place for that. This is our meditation room, which many of you, or some of you at least, have seen on our morning sadhana videos, which we are, have been streaming daily for several weeks now, from basically from 6 in the morning till 8 in the morning. I wanted to show you this because it is an illustration. This is an unretouched photo, no Photoshop and no rearranging involved in this. I'll set it down now. Uh, well, actually I won't. On the altar are photographs of our teachers, our masters, um, Yogananda on the far right, Next to him is Sri Yukteswar, his guru. In the center is Christ in meditation posture in a little statue. Next to him is Lahiri Mahashaya. And next to him, or sorry, is Babaji and then Lahiri Mahashaya. And Yogananda here at the top. I introduce all of that and I tell you that it's unretouched because I wanted to show you a sort of living example of what a, a meditation room in use actually looks like. I didn't fuss with the blankets afterwards. I didn't rearrange anything. It's just exactly how it looked after we finished our meditation this morning, which we did stream. And why I say that is because environment, as, as Yogananda said, and as we often quote, environment is stronger than willpower. And so we want our environment to support, to help our meditative efforts. One of the ways that it, our environment can do that is if it is always ready for us to make use of. And this is just one example of how that can be done to have the altar arranged, to have the chair ready to sit in. Meditation involves grace, grace of God, grace of the masters, all sorts of powers that we're not necessarily all that conscious of. But none of it happens unless our rear end hits the seat. And so we have to actually show up and then the process begins. Then we can invite the waves of grace to move through us. Then we can catch forces that we may not know about yet, but we can tune into on deeper and deeper levels. That process can begin to happen on a deep level. But if we don't show up, none of it happens. So the meditation area is always ready. The only thing that's missing is me. And so I try to get there twice a day or more. And I would invite you to do the same. Have an area. I'll tell you, just as a digression, I'll tell you a little story of a meditation space that I created. This was many, many years ago. I lived in a, in a, in a single room in a shared house. We didn't really have a living room. We had a tiny kitchen and a dining room. This was a very um, rustic structure, shall we say. Well, I created myself a meditation space in my little room. My room was about a nine by 12, something like that, very small. Had room enough for the bed. Uh, it had room enough for a, a small closet. 
and this little meditation space and a chair, and that was about it. And the space was the size of a telephone booth, okay? So I could get myself in there. It was big enough that I could sit cross-legged, so it was a little bigger than the cushion that I'm sitting on in terms of width. Height was actually half of a telephone booth because I was sitting on the floor. And so it was, you know, just tall enough that I had a little bit of height over the top of my head. I loved, I created this thing out of wood. It was very funky, it was very kludgy, but it worked. It had, it had a very custom special feature. It was big enough that it crossed over the the upper left corner of it crossed over a window, a sliding window, and I could slide that window open and I could get this much fresh air coming into that little space. It, I was so happy in that little place. In one particular year, I had three eight-hour meditations. The last of them was in that space. The other two were group meditations of one kind or another which is a whole other story. But on, the, on New Year's Eve of that particular year, I did an eight-hour meditation. Now, I couldn't sit all the time in, in my seated position, so I came out and sat in a chair. But the point is, we want to have that space ready, and we want to be able to see that space. In our home, we walk past the meditation area multiple times per day. And we see it all the time because the doors are open. And normally we would have it screened off a little more, but because we're streaming these sadhanas, it's more part of our daily lives. But it's a reminder, and it's really important to have those reminders. So I'll just conclude by saying, take the chance, take the time to create a space. This is a really good exercise of willpower because willpower, if we wait for those moments when we're inspired, great, we can do wonders during those times. But what about when we're not inspired? What about when we didn't want to get out of bed? When we didn't feel like meditating in the evening? Whatever it may be. If the space is there and if it's easy, we'll do it. So make it practical and show up. God bless you. Namaste.